Aloha, friends. Say aloha, friends. Hello, friends. What you got today? A baby. In where? In my tummy. <laughs> How did the baby get in your tummy? Until I eat until my, and you and ate a baby in my tummy now. So when you eat so much, that's how you have a baby in your tummy? And then how are you going to take the baby out? A doctor and then, and then me and put that in my tummy. The doctor's going to take the baby out of your tummy? It's a boy. It's a boy? Uh-huh. And it, I don't know what the name is. You can think about the name, but... I think it's Jacob. Jacob? That's a good name. And Let me see your baby. No. Why? It's in my tummy. Well, when is it going to come out of the tummy? When is it going to be done? It's going to be done. Uh, almost. And then, see Jacob. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. She goes, Mom, look, I got a baby in my tummy. Uh, uh, I just made ube halaya, which is a, uh, like a ube jam. That I can add on to ice cream or eat by itself, um, bread making, and then um, I'm washing my curtain, and then I also made ube ice cream, Filipino ube ice cream, which I have to must, I have to say is really pretty good. So I made a separate batch for Lola, because I went to Lola to go get um, her vacuum, huh? It's time for the baby to come out. And see the feet push. I see the hand. This is not right. <laughs> Where do you learn these things? Did we not watch Dumbo? Did you watch Dumbo with me the other day? Yeah. Okay. How did the how did mommy Dumbo get the elephant and all the other animals? How did they get their baby? With a train. With a crane? A train. Oh, a train. But remember, it was the stork, the bird that flew, and then the babies dropped mm. from the sky. Isn't that how babies come from? Mm. Huh? Um, maybe a window did and it fly and drop it. Okay, then why did you put the baby in your tummy? Because you had me like a baby, and I put my baby in Aww. my tummy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like you. Oh. I did you a lot of dub and you got. Yeah, and you a baby dying your tummy. Yeah, I think it's two babies. Two babies, <laughs> you're uh, so cute. Maybe it's a, a, a baby brother and a sister one. I don't remember. Twins, no, they're not twins when they're a baby brother and sister at the same time. Maybe what are they? Bay. A strawberry a baby, uh huh. And <laughs> That baby gonna be smelling good. Mm -mm. <laughs> and then a blood one. All right, babe. Why are we canceling our Hawaii trip today? I, I know blueberry. Blueberry. A blueberry. Uh huh. That is. Oh, there it is. It's working. We are gonna go see Lola and give her some of my ube. I made ube ice cream. I was trying to show you guys, but my phone was acting up. I wasn't able to take pictures. Oh, it was blurry, but I wasn't able to record a video. So, sorry, it's all in our tummy now. This tummy. Well, you can show them the blurry picture. Yeah. Huh. But it was nice. It was like um, not deep ube. Um, ube is the Filipino. It's, it's very trendy Filipino flavoring right now. Everything is ube, um, which is purple yam. Um, very popular in the islands and the Philippines, Asian um, desserts. But um, I like mine because it was more like a lavender color because I didn't add um, extra extra coloring in there. It was from the ube um, the ube halaya, which is the ube jam that I baked this morning and showed you guys. I think. So is Tara. We are at Kate Spade for Danielle's birthday. Danielle's birthday is next week. I got her, hold on, I got her a, her and Danny, so Danny's birthday was last month. Can you right over here? Yeah, thank you. Show me. One, two, three, Okay, four. that to the, to, don't touch the glass, don't show me. Do, uh, perfect, don't touch the glass because you're going to get it dirty. But yeah, I got her, um, I got her a paint spade first. Okay, it's this material right here, like this one flat. 
her and Danny the same, but a small one, like a crossbody. That one, but a small one. Ready? Come on. Okay, I see you. Oh, you're copying? Perfect. Come on. Kate Spade. We went to Burberry, but um, but to uh, old fashioned for Danielle. Just got her a crossbody one like that. I've never gone into a uh, Tory Birch. Um, I had a friend that was really into that. Pretty day. Danica, you're getting tan. Look at this girl. Go ahead. Look at that other girl. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Hubby was gonna cut it down. I said, no, she likes to play with that. They love that hammock. Oh. Okay, this is what's happening right now. It's 90 degrees out. Where's that children? <laughs> 90 degrees, so we went to Lola's and uh, borrowed, borrowed her uh, carpet cleaner. Bought some solution and then it's out. Um, vacuumed it. Because it's uh, shaggy, we're just going to use the attachment. And then the chickens are now outside onto their penthouse. So now I got to disinfect my studio, which is um, basically because like dusty. Ooh, what are you doing? I put too much pressure. It splashed all over me. You're so cute, babe. Oh, thank you. You're such a hottie. Oh, oh please. You're such a hottie, babe. Um, can you just do that by yourself and not me? <laughs> I always thought that asking someone to do something for you after a compliment always works. No? Uh, remember how I told you guys Jonathan is studious? Well, he's upstairs, hot day, studying. Here is my other child. The free spirited one. Although she got three hundred percent yesterday that she showed us. Oh, three one hundred percent. That's what I meant to say. It didn't sound like that. That's how it sounded in my head. Three one hundred percent. What do I have? What what grade do I have in that class? Okay, I don't know. What do you have in that class? Ninety four point three. You could still get a ninety five or ninety six. <laughs> this one last day of school today huh baby girl um excuse me do not no shoes into my carpet you know this house rule still applies outside all right i i got too lazy to put it actually back together babe i can't function in this heat danica do not touch the lake it's got bacteria in there. That's dirty water, baby. You didn't even take it apart. I, I was too lazy. <laughs> it did the work. Yeah. Look how big the babies are. I don't know, friends. I think that's a crow. But look how big they are. See? Look at that. Um, Hubby's gonna build a... Um, we're gonna end up putting it over there in the corner. Um, and then he's just gonna build a little fence. Or you know what, I can even just buy the, uh, you know those kids play area? The hexagon shape, it's like 60 bucks. If I buy two of those, it will go all the way around enough for them to roam around. I think I'll do that. Ooh. Where? Over there by the, by the You wanna show them your art? This is all the work, work that I did. She's an artist. An artress? An artist. Um, on that thing, don't put in the grass. These are all the stuffs that she did. This one was during Halloween for Spooky. Oh, that's cool. This oh. one. 3D? Yeah. This one Jaden gave me, but he did it. Her bestie? Yeah. This one I did. Mm. These were all, um. Oh, the shade, no. Ink, uh, like, um. What's it called? Why is it bleeding? 
That was a pimple. Stop. Oh, I'm insecure. Okay. She's breaking okay. out. So those ones, I did two colored ones. Of the same one? one? Yeah. You actually read that? No, 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 no. It's so oh. I etched into oh. a piece of plastic, then put ink on it, uh -huh. and then put it through a press. Oh, I like then that this one. this one. Mm -hmm. That's on my one. phone cover. Yeah. yeah, then this one was a self-portrait I did last year. Ooh. There's that one I did with pastel. And then this one was, this one was a still life. Oh, I like and that, that one was a watercolor that I'm mm. probably going to fix. That's cute. That's and that almost... photograph it right there. Oh. All right, friends. This is what's happening right now. So I took this out. There was two desks in there just in the middle. But um, because, like I said, the, the baby chickies were here because of that light as the heat lamp. I, like, scrub everything down with a Scentsy cleaner. Uh, those things really smell good. But this is my view so i love like i don't like to have the curtains in here because i like to have the view of the water um we have a peekaboo view so the peekaboo view is right there and then during the winter i can see more because then the trees are bare but i have a very good view of the sunset uh, during this time of the day and basically wiping everything down so this is uh, my studio you guys know this is my studio oh and then i have my chase it's just base i i took out the other rug it's just too much and then we cleaned the rug so that rug is nice and clean and i'm just watching uh, watching show and that's it that's all i'm doing for the for the day. Let me see. <laughs> uh, um, we get lots of cherries, but they're so high up. This is the this why I told hubby not to cut this one. This is the only one we can reach. But uh, I don't know how to hide us. But we're starting to get good cherries. But the hammock was so good last night with the the shade and it was so hot i actually i think napped for like 15 minutes in it where are you going babe I gotta go to the garage for something. huh I gotta get something out the garage. okay you see something come over here lovely come here this way i got you i got it okay you got it all right she just woke up she actually slept in her Day clothes yesterday. Ta da! Ta -da. I love it. Come closer. Let me see. You're too far. Let me see. Okay. Nice. Look. Yeah. Pretty. <laughs> I'll be in his toys. He bought that at Comic Con. It's like, this is so cool. chaotic right now hubby just brought down him and his chainsaw i swear um but i want him to clean it up because we're gonna put this over here danica's playhouse here and then he's gonna create a, it up a lot. huh it up yeah a lot. yeah so just do are you able to go clean it up some more uh, yeah him and his glasses i gotta get the um oh yeah just cut it and then I'll carry it to the other side. Jonathan did this over there. He just went crazy with the chainsaw. He loved it. He's like, Dad, this is the best tool ever. <laughs> yeah. Because um, right here, there was a tree that was blocking. That's his uh, window. It was blocking him from looking out into the water. This one has been playing. <laughs> she took up everything. Almost everything, huh? All right, so while hubby's doing that, I'm prepping this up. I'm gonna put my, I think, I don't know if it's azalea or um, hydrangeas, cause it gets, it gets the morning shade, but it gets the late afternoon sun. And late afternoon sun is the harsh one. You don't have to put it all the way up, my love. Be careful because this one, um, baby, 
Um, don't push on it. You don't have to put it. It's like here. It's the same. In here. Let me show you how to dry it up. You gotta go like that. Okay? But don't push on it because it's gonna fall. Okay? Go ahead and play this way. Whew. Okay, now I gotta carry all that over here. Oh, oh my gosh, friends. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. We are so freaking tired. Look at all the branches that he chopped off. All I'm trying to do is plant two hydrangeas in here. That little bitty hole, taking the breath out of me. Okay, let's be real. I take myself away from Instagram. Um, that's why I don't have a lot of followers on YouTube. Don't have a lot of followers in Instagram. YouTube, I have plenty. I have enough what I can I love it. It's just—it's a small little channel. I love my lo my little channel. Instagram, I have never had it to where I want a lot of people to follow me on Instagram because I get so wrapped up sometimes in in uh, pretty Instagram. I don't know what you call it, but fake Instagram, like moms that has four kids two kids and they showcase their home and it's pretty and it's beautiful and then I look at my home and I'm like oh my gosh how do they have the energy she only has two kids you know I have four or she has six and I only have four she's young I'm old how the hell is her house so pretty not materialistic pretty but organized pretty and I had I had to really delete a lot of my feed because it was just making me sad and depressed because I was looking at Instagram feed and seeing how pretty it was. And I look at mine and I'm like, it's so hard to upkeep my home because I got four kids running around. I can't blame it on my kids because if I really wanted, oh, if I really wanted a magazine home, because I used to have that when I only had one child, but I can't anymore because of all our schedules. But the reason I, brought that up is because I have been working on that little darn hole and I'm so tired and I watch one of my YouTube I love watching this channel garden answers um, Laura oh my gosh she's the best she is absolute the best um, if you guys are into gardening or want to do something with your yard she has so much inspiration she basically she gets um, she gets what do you call that Part she partners with a, um, a nursery that gives her yeah, you know, flowers, so then she showcases it. That's why she's constantly planting. She has beautiful ideas. She's, she is a true landscaper, a gardener landscaper. But that girl has so much energy. She's always digging. And I'm like, how the heck did she dig that up? Like she'll go through rows and it's always so pretty. But sometimes I gotta pull myself away from watching her as much as I love her because one, it's too good to be true. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but what I have is home. Um, and home gets messy, gets lived in. So I feel like sometimes as much as I love her, no, no, I'm not knocking her down. You guys watch her, she's amazing. But it's like going to a um, botanical garden kind of thing, like some sort of a, a garden to where you see the you see the channel of her creating videos and it's, it's so easy for her to just pop these plants up there but it's hard to dig and i'm like thinking in my head there's no way that little tiny girl can be digging this this much because it took me two hours to dig that and she's constantly like she'll dig like 20 in a row on one uh, one video and then she'll just pop the plants in there she has great ideas but laura please tell me you have helpers that actually dig it for you because I feel so bad right now that I can't even dig two holes Ugh. taking a break hey honey I'm just saying I'm no offense Laura you're you're awesome I love you I always watch you but I'm just saying how the heck can you have that energy maybe I just need to eat proper breakfast that's gonna go in my neighbor's yard Oop. Yeah. More, like more. Where that dirt is, that little pile of dirt. Right yeah. So I'm gonna, I don't want bush bush of hydrangea. I'm gonna put hydrangea on each end and then I'm gonna put hostas and whatever that is. Grumps gave me that. 
and so it's just a cluster but it's, it creates like very like bell <laughs> i told you i was telling our friends you know that um gardener gal i watch i love her but sometimes i gotta walk away from her channel because she's so good it's like i can't compete it's, and it's not like i'm trying to compete but i'm trying to do as she does and i can't because does she do one of those like I'm gonna dig a whole bunch Yeah, of and she here. doesn't sweat and, and she has no like, ponytail. Then it's so magic signs and all of a sudden they're planted. Yes! <laughs> and I'm like, how does she dig it? When she even says that her husband doesn't really help her. So I love her. Don't get me wrong. You guys, I'm just tired. I'm venting. But I love watching her. But she has like five acres and she basically turned YouTube into her um, into her business to where she's getting sponsors and she's beautifying her yard and allowing YouTube to pay for that and then allowing partnerships to pay for that which is really you know it, it's business this you know YouTube some people make YouTube just a business and she's successful at it but sometimes I gotta walk away because what she's doing is not my reality my reality is hard yes I'm listening now I know, baby. Um, I don't think that's rock. I think that's concrete from the base of the house. Really? Look at it. Uh, uh, which is fine, because it doesn't need to be deep. Hey, yeah, it's fine. Hey, uh, yeah, it's fine. Just leave it. Dad, Mom. Yes, my love. Hey, Sorry, Jacka. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan just came home, so we're going to have him grab a, a chicken, teriyaki. chicken teriyaki lunch special down the road <laughs> I was gonna show my friends I walked away from hubby <sighs> look we're gonna put the race bed here we want Peter right here Okay, I'm trying to clean up here because let me show you guys. All I need to do is just put a little bit of um, topsoil to even it out. But look, I got hydrangea. This I believe is my white pink hydrangea. Um, I got my lemon mint that I pulled out from the front yard. Um, mint like really just takes over. So I don't mind it taking over, but uh, this one, I don't know what it is. It has the white flower bells. Yeah. Oh, is it good? Okay. Hostas, I divided it. And then another hydrangea. This one is white. So I'm going to clean it up with the soil back in here. And then I'm going to see if I can align the, the corners with this. I think we got this for free. I think we got like 200 pieces for free from a Facebook uh, page we just had to haul it ourselves kids help and see if I can align it like border it um, and then I'm gonna cover it with bark water it and then that's it all right friends my day's hard work that's what it looks like now and these were free so I wanted to use some sort of a border hey can you go get your brother and ask him if he can pick up Danielle My allergies. Delica, sit down, please. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. But um, I used that as a border just to make it look finished. Can you pick up the gel bud? She's at the library. Oh, thank you, baby. 